questions, Jaden? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're going to start with Dasher, and then we're going to go to Jed. All right, hey, Jaden, how are you doing today? Good, how about yourself? So? Kind of want to, before we talk about the game today, I want to go back to, to last night. I mean, you come in there, you get the uh, – their best hitter on uh, out for the end of the game today. You come to kind of a similar situation where you need to make a good pitch. And uh, I know you've we've talked before, and you've always talked about your confidence. How you you know you believe you can get anybody out. I'm just kind of as we continuing into, into the season. How much is that playing a role now? And you, you're coming in these big spots and able to get it done. Um, I'll say just keeping a clear head, um, not making the situation bigger than it already is. Um, just coming in thinking, well, with the two two out coming two out relief situations. I come in thinking with the mindset if I have to get three outs instead of one because the times I have thought I have to just get one out, things have went a little rough. So with the mindset, the clear head mindset, and also the mindset of I have to get three outs instead of one has really helped me a lot. And uh, obviously in high school, you used to be in a star. You, you started the season off, you know, here, you, you know, you know, being a guy on the mound to start the game. Yes, now sir. you're a bullpen guy, but you're coming again in these key situations. I mean, what – is, has it been a difficult adjustment for you to kind of make that switch right now, or has it just been kind of, kind of come natural? Um, that The first couple of weeks was very rough for me. I, personally, I'll say um, it was just kind of on the mental side. Um, just I've been so used to, over the years, just so used to routine, um, mm -hmm. knowing when I was going to throw and everything. So just the fact of not knowing when I was going to throw and having to learn how to actually prepare for moments like these um, has really helped me as well. So just – it's, it's came kind of naturally, but also it's, it's had its ups and downs for sure. All right. Nice, man. Yes, sir. Hey, Jaden, I'm kind of following up on that. What has a guy like Ben Harris meant to you with that mental side? You know, he's another guy that's kind of used in a lot of different situations. You know, how has he helped you sort of adjust mentally to, to the role you've got right now? Ben Harris has actually helped me a tremendous amount. Um, he's, he's someone you can just talk to when you're, when I guess when you're down, you can talk to him here. He always has the correct words to say. Um, I was just talking to him. I was like, so how do you prepare when you go down to the pen um, to come into the game? And he just gave me these particular pointers that really changed my way of thinking of being a relief. And so that has really helped. So that's what, what he did. Sorry, what, 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 uh, what were those pointers um, that he gave you? Um, like I said previously, um, just keeping a clear head. You got to know. You have to get you have to get the one out, but have the mindset of getting three outs, because that's with him telling me those. I just, it just became so much more easier to come out of the pen. Thanks, Jaden. Yes, sir. Okay, next we're gonna go to Davis, and then we're gonna go to Matthew. Jaden, when you get the kind of run support that you got today, how does it feel pitching on the mound? Does your mindset change at all when you're pitching with the lead? I feel I'll say I feel a lot more. I'll say, I guess, loose and more confident. Well, not really more confident, but I feel a lot more loose on the mound. I know I can, I can make it, maybe get away with a couple of pitches more than when the time is, when the score may be two, three, every pitch matters. Um, but with the run support I had today, I could really, I could kind of, I guess, perfect my pitches, the pitches I was working on, my changeup. Um, could really throw that a lot, perfect it more than I could have if the game was two, three. Well, I'll have to throw stuff that I'm actually very, very confident in as well. So, Right. And when you feel like you're loose like that, do you think that's when you have your best performances? Yes, sir. I do for sure. Because I'll say my confidence would be at an all time high. So and I, I, I was a firm believer of you look good, you think good, you play good. So, yes, sir. Yeah, and talking to Coach, he said um, that over the past two series, you know, you guys played some quality opponents and you got two series wins. What kind of momentum do you think that um, that gives your team going into this that's week? A, I feel like that's the biggest momentum we'll have this season. Um, coming back back-to-back -back weekend, well, coming off the first two series, losing those series, um, coming to, into Vandy, which was the number one team, that was a huge momentum booster. Um, winning this series was a huge momentum booster just because of the fact that they were also ahead of us in the rankings and in the standings in the SEC. So with that being said, we just have to continue to become even more hungrier and keep going. Okay, and we're gonna finish up questions with Jaden with Evan. Okay, sounds good. Hey Jaden, um, has it, there been like a specific moment this season where you like really feel like you settled in with the program or, or kind of that was like really key in your development so far and it has led to these successful outings? Yes, sir. I'll say probably last week. Um, going into Vandy, which maybe have 
which made was a lot of people's thoughts um, knowing they were the number one team, knowing they their history, knowing they had hitters, true hitters that could hit the ball anywhere they needed to at any given time. Um, just to go out there and and shut them down really made me made me realize that I'm here for a reason and I can do what I do best. Okay.